E go. I'm gonna wait a few seconds to let people jump in. If people do jump in, that is zero watching. Two watching. Hello, Jay. Two watching. I will give it to a minute in, and then we will start. Okay, like I said. We are working out the kinks here. The timing issue is still weird. There's a delay on my end. There's a delay on your end. So I'm just trying to figure some things out here. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Isaiah. Hey, Liz. Like my Liz might be my number, like first ever follower on YouTube. Uh, we got 18. Okay, that's enough for me to start. I don't know if you guys notice or not, but I got myself a fancy new webcam. You can probably see all my nasty ass pores. You can see boogers in my nose, lettuce in my teeth, but that's good because now we can get better shots of the ice cream. And that's really what matters. So we're still trying to uh, refine these things here. So this, this stream is going to be, again, a work in progress. This time, I'm going to wait to field questions. All right, I'm going to start eating the ice cream and I want you guys to hold off on any questions you might have. Sure, you can comment, you can talk to each other, but I'm gonna to try to do my thing first for a little bit, and uh, then once I get my initial thoughts out of the way, then I'll talk to you guys. So, without further ado, this is Camo and Cream from Bluebell. It is a new flavor, a brand new flavor, never been released before, which is kind of unfortunate because if you were a fan of Bluebell back before the Listeria outbreak uh, crushed them, you would know that they had a pretty solid lineup, but some really spectacular top tier flavors. Bluebell as a whole is overrated, if you ask me, mostly by Oklahomans and Texans and people that grew up on it. They think it's the best ice cream ever. Sadly, it is not. However, when it's good, it's great. If you've ever had seven layer bar, if you've ever had uh, crazy cookie dough. If you've ever had gingerbread house or pumpkin pecan, you know how good Bluebell can be. So it kind of rustled my jimmies that they came out with a new flavor instead of uh, bringing out one of the, the, the oldies. But I digress. It's always nice to have another Bluebell flavor. I'm glad they're back on their feet because variety to me, especially in ice cream, is the spice of life. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, Camel and Cream is swirls of pistachio almond ice cream, milk chocolate ice cream, and cream cheese ice cream. So here we have three ice creams swirled into a camouflage pattern, I imagine. Uh, get her done. I'm sure this is gonna be real popular in he down here in Florida among people with uh, Salt Life stickers and Confederate flags on their trucks. But at any rate, uh, I know that ice creams can be good without mixing, so we're gonna see if Bluebell can pull it off. Not the best bases of ice cream. Not the best. So they got a tall order here, but I got faith. And I want to see if they can pull off cream cheese ice cream. Because Ben and Jerry's fucks it up every single time. Let's see if Bluebell can do what Ben and Jerry's can't. I got my Ben-ass spoon. I got my ice cream. Let's do this. All right. There she is. Let's see if... Oh, damn. It's kind of reversed. It's like, a, it's like flying a plane. Up is down. Left is right. So... You see the cam where the camo theme comes from here. Uh, we have the the chocolate ice cream, the pistachio ice cream, and the cream cheese, which seems to be making up most of it. Or I don't know. We don't know what pistachio. I, I'm colorblind, so your guess is as good as mine. But hey, all I know is this webcam is paying off. It looks great. Hopefully this shit tastes okay. First spoonful. I got a little bit of everything, which is the way you're supposed to do these things. Maybe I won't drop it on the keyboard this time. Focus, fancy webcam. Do I need to get closer? Do I need to get closer, webcam? Put my hand under. There we go. Yeah, what do you want for $95 on Amazon Prime? There she is. How's that? There we go. All right, money well spent. All right. I'm not mad at that first spoonful at all. I got a little bit of cream cheese flavor. I need to taste it by itself though. But so far, it's not terrible by any means. I'm not like upset that I just put that into my mouth. 
it's more, it kind of feels like a fancy Neapolitan, you know, instead of the, uh, the three other basic flavors, you've got three kind of fancier, higher scale, upper scale flavors. So let me see if I get this cream cheese by itself. Okay, I will say this for Bluebell. They know how to do cream cheese better than Ben & Jerry's, which is not saying much. I still think it could be a little more tart. I still think the cream cheese ice cream could be more tart, but at least I know it's cream cheese. At least I know it when I taste it, okay? So I guess the, the green stuff here would be pistachio. Uh, fun fact, I am colorblind. It's not a joke. I thought the dollar bill was gray until I was 13. So, you can see why this ice cream would present some difficulties for me. There we go, another spoonful. Focus, camera. There we go. Ooh, there's, uh, there's nothing here. That's a fun surprise. So, I never had their pistachio almond. Somebody else might be able to chime in and tell me uh, did the pistachio almond ice cream from Bluebell have nuts in it? Any, can anybody tell me that? I'm trying to figure out the best angle here for my ice cream shots. There we go. See it? See that nut there? Yeah, that's right. So got some texture. Always good to have. Add a little bit extra spice to this sucker. I don't think pistachio sucks. I'm not a picky eater. I think you guys know that about me. I think actually the only flavor that I can't stand that I would try to actively avoid is key lime pie. But even then, if it's not too sour, like I can, I can roll with some key lime pie. You know, this isn't terrible. I heard some bad things. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think I found the right, I finally found the right camera angle. You guys can see much better. The lighting is a lot better now, and uh, you can see all three parts, chocolate, cream cheese in the middle there, and then pistachio up there in the top. I am a little confused though. Why? Did they go with this flavor? Why did they pick this? I mean, okay, I get it. You don't want to. You want to bring out something new, but you follow up uh, Cookie Two Step, which is, I mean, I don't want to say it was it's too basic, but it was cookies and cream with cookie dough, and you come out with an ice cream that has no mix-ins except for the nuts and uh, three. I don't know. It just seems like they're not trying hard to impress. That's how I feel. They were never the most complex company to begin with, but you know, think about Crazy Cookie Dough. Think about Seven Layer Bar. Um, hell, even some of the cobbler flavors. I love the, everybody loves pie and ice cream, right? Where's that at? I mean, it is September. It's almost October. Are we going to get seasonals? That is the question. Are we going to get at least one seasonal? Are we going to get the pumpkin spice pecan? Because if we don't, I'm going to fucking riot. So... Another thing I need to mention, guys, this is 160 calories per serving. Not a premium ice cream, not even close. For those of you out there in macro counting land, it should be nice. It's okay. It's okay ice cream, but it's light for me, especially a guy who eats Ample Hill, Salt and Straw, Graders on the regular. This is like, essentially, this is fucking Arctic Zero to me. All right, now I'm going to start getting on this conversation. Most of Ben and Jerry's bases are poverty. That's why they get they they uh, the flavors are carried by the mix-ins. That's why it's Basic Bitch's favorite brand. Andrew, Andrew said, "I'm really impressed that you can smash ice cream." and not get headaches. This is not my first rodeo. I'm a seasoned professional. Do not try to eat ice cream this fast at home. Although I gotta say it's melting pretty damn fast. 
like I said, not premium ice cream, not a lot of butter fat in here, if any. I don't know what the hell you make this stuff with. Oh, yellow number five, I'm getting cancer. Uh, but it's definitely not even close to a premium ice cream. Yeah, I'm serious about the ice cream. Are you fucking dumb? It's powered by ice cream. It's like my thing. I always am... I think it's funny when people are like, wow, you really take ice cream seriously. Uh, really? Do you, do you see... Wait, which way do I point? Which way do I point? This way? No. Damn, it's, everything's reversed. You see it? Right there. Powered by ice cream. I never get brain freezes from ice cream. Ever. Slurpees... Slurpees will wreck your milkshakes. Mix-ins are not life, building ox. Ice cream is life. Without an ice cream, you have nothing. Mix-ins are not life. You're the reason the Ben & Jerry's keeps making shitty flavors. Yeah. The status quo. They want to uphold that status quo. They want to satisfy all the ice cream basic bitches. I mean, it's just, it's simple. Nobody wants complex flavors. Nobody wants different flavors. What do I think of the new Day to Remember album? I love it. It's so much better than Common Courtesy. It's not even funny. April Mason said they should have added cheesecake chunks to the cheesecake side. What are you referring to? Well, you guys realize that Ben and Jerry's cheesecake flavors, none of them involve actual cheesecake. Because in order to do that, they would have to find a fair trade company that makes non-GMO fucking vegan cheesecake. And the price would be exuberant and they would never be able to make the ice cream in general. That's why they make, they don't use cheesecake pieces. That's why pumpkin cheesecake has a crumbled gram swirl. Not to say that isn't bad. I love pumpkin cheesecake. But it's all about the bottom line with Ben and & Jerry's, and they have to uphold that stupid liberal agenda of theirs. They're fucking hippies, man. They don't even own their company anymore anyways. Unilever does. Don't get me started. Uh, a kid's life with Crohn's disease. I've talked to you before, buddy. I know you said I like dairy-free fudge brownie. I'm sorry to hear that, you know, but even if my Crohn's disease, I still wouldn't eat that shit. Teacup for Zombo asks, do you think that Bluebell quality has gone down since they came back after the scare? No, it is the exact same quality, which is not saying that much, but it's not like Jenny's where they, they took a dip. They're the same company. JC asked, what kind of cereal, in your opinion, would make a good ice cream flavor? Well, Salt and Straw makes a Lucky Charms flavor that is amazing. But I've always wanted a Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream, and I think that Salt and Straw Snickerdoodle is about as close as you're going to get. Uh, seriously, what about So Delicious? Yes, So Delicious is my go-to uh, dairy-free company. They are the best in, as far as grocery store brands go. Also, Talenti has some good sorbettos, and uh, you know, outside of that, Van Luen uh, and Salt and Straw make some really great vegan stuff. How does how does uh, Bluebell compare to Edie's Slow Churn? I actually, depending on the flavor, I'm going with Edie's. I, I just think that it's a it's a you know calorie to calorie, flavor to flavor, especially now with the their the way that. Bluebell's catalog is, I'd definitely go with Edie's. Okay, let's wrap this up since people were asking, hey, how's Camel's, they came in late, they want to know how Camel and Cream is. So, this flavor is pretty boring, all right? But boring doesn't always mean bad. I just want to let you guys know, this is not an exciting pint. This was not a fun pint. I mean, it was just like, this is like the kind of ice cream your dad would eat, you know, like, 
there's pistachios in it. Pistachio is like such an old person nut, old person ingredient. I don't, I mean, who the fuck likes pistachios? Uh, the cream cheese was decent. I was glad they did it better than Ben and Jerry's. And uh, milk chocolate was okay. I mean, I, like I said, this is just kind of one of those ice creams that was there. And I'll be perfectly honest. The reason I review this is because so many people asked. It was popular demand. I was sick of people busting my balls about it. So I figured I give my public what they want, my followers. I review this basic ass boring ice cream. Wrapping up, I give this a 6 out of 10. Not great. Not even good. But like just barely not terrible. Okay, it's something I'll never eat again. But uh, ah, what can I say? It's it's bluebell and they're this flavor they didn't really even try. So that's all. The less said about this flavor, the better. Basically, I, I wasn't disgusted by it. I wasn't pissed off that I ate it. It was just kind of like it was just just there, you know. All right, let's do some. Let's do some. Uh, questions here do you skew tube ass do you have a price you would not pay for a pint i it really depends i mean i've paid a lot of money for ice cream so tiger bait asks your highest rated bluebell flavor is uh, we just ran we ran down that at the beginning my favorite all-time bluebell flavor is seven layer bar or magic cookie bar whatever it's called it's it's fucking amazing i also really like pumpkin spice pecan i really like gingerbread house and crazy cookie dough as well uh but the only 10 out of 10 that i've ever had from bluebell would be a magic cookie bar uh a kid's life with crohn's disease asks how many pints can you guess you have eaten in your life that is tough that's a huge number um probably Let's see. I've been eating ice cream pint by the pint since I was 18, 16 years. It's got to be in, it's got to be, it's over a thousand. Let's just say that. Italian cream cake, Tiger Bait. That is a weird pick. I had it. I wasn't, I didn't think it was that great. Pro1989 asks, do you eat ice cream with other foods as well? No, I just subsist completely off ice cream. That's all I eat. Obviously, powered by ice cream. I don't, I just live off ice cream. Best budget ice cream that has to go to Edie Slow Churn, but but a dark horse pick is great value ice cream from Walmart. That shit is good. I can't, I, I can't recommend it enough if you want some cheap, solid ice cream. Uh, what is your best ice cream that you can buy from the grocery store? That would be. Graters. Graters is the best ice cream you can get in grocery stores. Speaking of pints, do you ever drink pints of whiskey or do you abstain from alcohol? I do not abstain from alcohol. However, I'm whiskey isn't my thing. I'm more of a vodka guy. Uh, but recently I got I've been addicted to hard sodas, hard root beer, especially Coney Island hard root beer. That's my shit. Blue Bunny for value, for sure. Blue Bunny for value as well. That's another great brand uh, at a decent price. What store brand ice cream is the best? If, uh, Private Selection, which is Safeway's brand or Kroger's. I was getting confused. That We don't have them down here, but Private Selection is the best store brand. Jay asks, are you coming out with any new shirts with the new design? I am, but first I am restocking the old design in a new colorway and in girls' tank tops. Also two XLs. Do you have any recommendations for a not so pricey ice cream but still a decent flavor? Yes, Blue Bunny, uh, Edie's, and Great Value, the Walmart brand. What about best regional ice cream? Well, in that case, if we're talking regional, we're talking best because the best uh, ice cream in the game is Ample Hills. And then Salt and Straw is a very, very, very close second, uh, maybe tied with Oddfellows, which is also New York. We have a, can we get a cam? Hold on, we have a cameo. Well, a cameo, get it? Here he comes. This is the real ratings getter. This is what people show up for, okay? This is what people want to see. Look at this guy. Look how happy he is. 
<laughs> Jay asks, best popcorn flavor ice cream. Jenny's has a sun-popped buttered popcorn flavor. It's spot on. Spot on. Ample Hills is only available in their shops, I believe, as far as I know. I don't live in New York, so. Thank you. Look at him. Yeah, he can't eat ice cream yet. He still has another three months until he can have his own ice cream, but he is, trust me, he's counting down the days. And so am I. I can't wait to, to do this. He doesn't get it, though. Not yet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all the compliments. I made this. Yeah, he came, he, he came out of my penis, technically. My favorite ice cream with pretzels? Chubby hubby, dude. Chubby hubby for life. What is your wife's favorite ice cream? She like I think I I gotta say probably gingerbread house. She is that's a, she's a crackhead. She could probably eat an entire container of gingerbread house. I'm pretty sure she did once when she got drunk. She, I know, but I, they don't know. Okay, if we're talking stuff that's niche and you probably never heard of, Cinetopia, my favorite ice cream of this year from Salt and Straw is her favorite. We're still lamenting over the fact that we didn't order multiple pints of it. Salt and Straw, if you're watching this, please bring it back, please. Do you do cardio every day? I do, as a matter of fact. Uh, after all the injuries I got powerlifting, I decided that longevity in terms of like like health was more important than strength for me because I want to be around for this guy and be able to play with him. I want my joints to feel good. So I just started focusing more on conditioning work and less on heavy lifting. I still lift four times a week, but uh, definitely not like I used to. I do the rower, uh, Concept 2 rower, I mean at least five times a week. And I do uh, the assault bike a couple times a week, too. Andrew says, your rowing workouts are nuts, dude. Well, I wasn't always that nuts. They, I had to build up to it. When, it's funny. It's kind of like when you start lifting. It's the same way. Um, when you start lifting, you're kind of you're weak and you're, you know, you're not, your lifts aren't that impressive. Same thing with rowing. There was a time when I couldn't do 10K in under an hour. And the other day, I just did 12K. And, ooh, it's so funny. I did 12K in like... Uh, under an hour, 55 minutes or something. Jay asks, favorite kind of donut? Ooh. I don't know what my favorite, yeast for sure, obviously. I don't, you know, uh, cake donuts are okay, but there's only so much you can do with them. Yeast is way better. Probably something from, probably something from Blue Star in um, Portland, Oregon. Zeb asks, do you have a full-time job? I do. I get this question a lot. I am an online coach, so I work from home. I also own a gym. Uh, today was actually the end of my work week, technically. Uh, I still have some stuff to do, but I work. I do a lot of check-ins Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and uh, I coach people in strength training. I coach them on diets and uh, just basically help people get stronger or just in better shape. YouTube, that's it. You know about Blue Star Donuts, don't you? Blue Star is the best donut in the country. The country. And I've eaten a lot of donuts, thanks to my wife. It's so funny. Huh? Hey, for anybody that was uh, watched the first stream, is this stream better audio and video-wise? Because this camera, sure, on my end at least, looks a lot better. Do you mean glazed and, oh cool, glazed and uh, confused, Jay? Well, I'm glad my $90 investment paid off. Because I was like, I watched the stream back and I was kind of mad about it, you know? I was like, this is bootleg. <gasps> What's so funny? Oh, the audio is better. It has this thing has two microphones. That's why I bought it because I was worried. I didn't want to buy like a separate microphone, and I want to be able to travel. Like um, we go to Atlanta for Raw Nationals in seven weeks or six weeks. I'm gonna eat my favorite pumpkin ice cream live stream. I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm going to eat the whole Turkey Hill pumpkin pie half gallon in front of you. Judge me if you want.
better, but audio syncing is off. Yeah, that's not the camera's fault. That's uh, an internet connection issue. Live streaming shit, you know, what can you do? So, uh, here's a question, guys. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Uh, I got some shipments coming in this week. Would you rather see... Would you rather see Salt and Straw first or Ample Hills first? That's the question. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, the flavors that, that I got, but there's a new ginger molasses flavor from Ample Hills. And Salt and Straw has some crazy, crazy looking flavors this month. Oh, wow. Ample Hills by a landslide. Okay. Okay. I got it. I don't know when they're going to come in. Uh, Wednesday might be a Comfy Cow ice cream. It might not be. I really am. If I haven't told you guys enough, Comfy Cow has come back with a vengeance. They took the constructive criticism very well, which is more than I can say for some other companies. And they re they overhaul their packaging. They overhaul their quality control. Their mix-ins are on point. Liz Liz can agree. Sorry, I'm boring you. Liz Liz agrees. You know, uh, it's an entirely different experience now. Um, so if you guys ever are on. If you guys are ever on uh, Gold Belly and you look for something to order, definitely give Comfy Cow uh, some shine because they deserve it. SkewTube, no, there's only uh, they don't have. SkewTube's asking me if they uh, if I tried the sorghum and grits flavor, which sounds crazy, but they only have so many flavors on Gold Belly. A lot of the flavors they have in their shops look crazy good, but uh, uh, I haven't had the chance to. Although I, yet yeah, I've been talking to them and I. Uh, I'm getting a pretty unique opportunity with that company that I'm very excited about. It's kind of one of those dreams that you always have. Like, um, I'm not making my own ice cream, but I will certainly have a, a role in seeing what ice cream might may or may not get created. Uh, Manzura asks me about Lalu's goat's milk ice cream, the Rumpel Mint flavor. I've only had one or two of Lalu's flavors, uh, not the Rumpel Mint one. It, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, goat's milk, it makes for an interesting ice cream. Not one of my favorite things, but I can't say I didn't like it. Oh, that's cool, them. Yeah, they didn't send me anything for free, but they are, I am going to be a beta tester, so I can't complain. Jay, I've had the, the pumpkin spice oatmeal before in the past. It's good. I think Trader Joe's is better, though. Brett asked, have you had the Baskin Robbins cereal ice cream flavor before? Fun story. Fun story. Uh, about three weeks ago, I, I really wanted to try that flavor, and I was going to fun size review it. So I drove about 45 minutes because our Baskin Robbins is a Baskin Robbins slash Dunkin' Donuts. And it was really out of the way. It was like August 8th. I drove all that way. Bless you. And they didn't have the fucking flavor in stock yet. It was the, the second week in August. And they didn't have it. So needless to say, I was pissed. I got the donut ice cream sandwich, but still, I was mad. I haven't been back. But I will go back, and I'm hoping maybe to get lucky and do a, uh, one of the, a scoop of that and maybe a scoop of the pumpkin cheesecake if they have both. I'm not holding my breath on that because it's run by a bunch of idiots, but I can get lucky. Jay, yeah, I had it. I had it. It was, it was all right. They only let you choose. There's only one type of donut. It's like a powdered sugar donut. It's, it's kind of weak in terms of that. I've made way better myself because glazed donuts are king. So I'm hoping to get a shipment notification from Ample Hills uh, tonight. Or I don't know when they ship out, Tuesdays? But if not, we're going to have Comfy Cow on the second round. And that should be fun. I'm going to think I'm going to do the peanut brittle flavor. You missed the ice cream, Mr. Sports King. It's okay. That's YouTube archives these things. And you didn't miss much. I gave it a 6 out of 10. Jay, I don't know what my friend Seth Rollins will do tonight. But I heard he's getting new theme music, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, oh, Comfy Cow is actually cheaper. It's under 100 bucks on Gold Belly. So uh, definitely one of the cheaper options. Might have some Jennies in here soon. I'm, I, I, I can't resist the goat cheese and cherries. So, so uh, I'm probably going to have to go back to the well on that one. All right, guys.
Thanks for watching. Thanks again. And Cam says, bye. We'll do this again. Same ice cream time, same ice cream channel, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for showing up.